Hey family, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are all doing well. Can you believe that in one week from today, we'll be celebrating Thanksgiving? Can you believe it? Incredible. I want to thank all of you who are watching this video right now for joining me for today's session of Daily Bread. I appreciate each and every one of you who tune in daily to watch this channel. May the Lord continue to speak to your heart as I bring you God's Word. For today's session of Daily Bread, we're going to continue reading from my daily devotional, where today's writer focuses in on Ephesians chapter 5, verses 18 through 19. I encourage you to open up your Bibles and read Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 through 21 to get full context. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 18 through 19. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. What is debauchery? Plain and simple, debauchery is corruption of morality. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord. When we speak to each other in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, our bodies, our minds, our hearts are filled with the Holy Spirit. The commands in verses 18 through 21 are held together by one imperative in the Greek, be filled with the Spirit. And this is held as a contrast to not getting drunk with wine. It's as if Paul was saying, the feeling that imbibing an alcohol might give can instead be received by being filled with the Holy Spirit. He then lists the practical ways one is spirit-filled. God has designed and wired your body to experience the high that substances can offer you, but he has provided godly and healthy means of experiencing them in the Spirit. Music is one of those means. Even more wonderfully, music shared and experienced with your family, church, and friends can thrill your soul. What high are you most tempted to wrongfully indulge in? Next time, confess your ill-bent will to God, receive His grace and forgiveness, and fill this desire with the Spirit-filled pursuit. Know that God gave you the gifts of music and song for your good and for His glory. For the music of the gospel leads us home. My dear family, if you are struggling with any form of addiction or substance abuse, lift it up to the Lord and ask Him to free you from the bondage of addiction. Come to the Lord and drink deeply of the Lord and His Word. And rather than filling yourself with a potentially harmful substance, fill yourself with his love and his promises and experience the high that you've been searching for. And may the Lord bless you, keep you, shine his face upon you, and be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' name.